Sam. Biggest thing right now in the beginning of this is to get your stride pattern established, whether you lead with the same leg or you alternate. Being a sprinter in between these hurdles and having that fast rhythm, not a float rhythm, a fast rhythm in between the hurdles. Faith Ross right now of Kentucky is the early leader in lane four. She chops though on number five. It always hurts her momentum. Now you've got to push through this far turn. Another thing in the 400 meter hurdles is making sure that your lead leg comes straight up and down and not out and around. There's so much space in between those forced hurdles on the back stretch. Journey Woodward now into the lead as she turns for home. Hurdle number nine clean for Woodward. It's being chased by Brittley Humphrey. How 10 goes is what matters. It's going to be 1 2 for LSU. Woodward is going to hold off her teammate. And third is going to be Madeline Young. It's a sweep for the Tigers. Wow. Woodward 56 77. That is a new lifetime best for her. So just like AM did in the men's race, but they were 1 2 6 and 7. Here, LSU is 1 2 3. Also a lifetime best for Brittley Humphrey. That was a fantastic race, especially coming into the home stretch. When you're coming around off of that curve right here, if you're looking, it's fourth from the left in the white, purple bottoms, all three of these women, LSU, you've got to make sure you sprint over the hurdle. You get so tired, there is no next gear in this last home stretch. So you've got to keep that hurdle form, and that's exactly what Woodward does. Woo. She's in the middle of the three LSU women, and look at how clean. She just stepped over that hurdle, and she's not that tall, but these hurdles are lower. They're 30 inches, and she did a fantastic job of closing, and look at the reaction. Personal and lifetime best for both of these women.